Welcome to the Body Guardian Mini video for patients using Body Guardian Mini with Bridge. If you received your monitor at home, call now to activate your service at 888 500 3522. This video will walk you through the process of setting up your monitor and tell you more about what to expect during your monitoring period. The Body Guardian Mini is a heart monitor that continually records every single heartbeat while you live your life. Your monitor can and should be worn during all normal daily activities, including showering, sleeping, and exercising. The monitor is waterproof for up to three feet. If you will be going deeper, you will need to remove the monitor from the black hub. You can also wear the monitor through airport security and while traveling on an aircraft. However, it cannot be worn while undergoing an MRI. As part of your prescription, you should have received the Body Guardian Mini box with a patient instruction manual enclosed. Please ensure all contents pictured in the patient instruction manual were provided, including one monitor, one monitor charging cord, one bridge, two ECG electrodes, saline wipes, and a Holter diary. Now let's go through placement options for wearing your Body Guardian Mini with bridge. First, decide which of the two chest placements you will use. You can wear the device either vertically on your sternum, which is the recommended placement, or horizontally on your upper chest. Now let's prepare your skin. If hair is present on those locations, remove the hair where you will place the bridge. Use either the enclosed saline wipes or soap and water to clean the area, and then dry the area completely. Do not apply lotions, oils, or perfumes after cleaning the area. And most importantly, apply only to intact, clean skin. Do not abrade the skin or use alcohol to prepare your skin. Do not apply over open wounds, lesions, infected, or inflamed areas. If you have skin allergies, hypersensitivities, or experience skin irritation while wearing the monitor, consult your doctor. Now that you have decided on a monitor placement and prepared your skin, let's snap the ECG electrodes to the bridge, then attach the monitor. Before inserting the monitor, you will need to firmly attach two electrodes to the top and bottom side of the bridge until you hear a snap. Next, slide the monitor into the black molding on the bridge until the micro USB connector on the bridge is inserted completely into the monitor. This is most easily accomplished on a flat surface, like a table. To line up the micro USB connector with a port on the monitor, you will need to wiggle the monitor slightly to align. To ensure a good connection, pinch together with thumb and index finger. Now it's time to place the Body Guardian Mini on your chest in a selected location. If you choose the preferred vertical placement, you will place the top of the bridge just below the jugular notch at the base of the neck, at the intersection of the collarbone. Do not place the bridge too far to the right or too low. If you select the horizontal placement, place the right side of the bridge near the center of the chest over the sternum. Ensure the arrow on the bridge over the left chest near the left arm is pointing up. Do not place the bridge too far to the left or too low. To attach the bridge to your chest, hold the monitor and bridge assembly by the monitor. It is recommended to peel away the top electrode backing first. Then, place that section of the bridge with the adhesive exposed flat on your chest. Once the top electrode is applied, slowly peel away the adhesives from the bottom electrode and slowly press the bridge flat on your chest. Press around the surface of both electrodes to ensure the bridge adheres to the skin. Make sure the bridge is flat and smooth on the skin. Do not wrinkle the bridge and do not pin it to a bra or clothing. Once the electrodes have been placed on the skin, the same electrodes should not be reapplied. In most cases, the adhesives will not restick sufficiently if you attempt to reapply the same electrodes. If you remove the electrodes for any reason, use new ones when you reapply. Electrodes are disposable. Now let's look at turning on the monitor. Turn on the monitor by pressing the center power button once. If contact between the bridge and your skin is satisfactory, the monitor will make a quick series of three rising beeps. The green light blinks every five seconds. This tells you that you are successfully being monitored. If contact between the bridge and your skin is not satisfactory, the monitor alerts you with two beeps every second. If this occurs, you will need to make sure the monitor is securely attached to the bridge 
and that the Body Guardian Mini is properly placed and securely adhered to your chest. The monitor is designed to be obtrusive, so the lights are faint. They can be best detected in a dark or dimly lit room. Now let's look at how you record your symptoms. If you begin to feel symptoms related to the reason your monitor was prescribed, such as dizziness, chest pain, or shortness of breath, you can manually record these events. You will first need to press and release the center button on the monitor once. The monitor will make a single beep on a successful button push. Do not hold the button down. In your Holter Diary, write down the symptom, date, and time. Check the symptoms you are feeling and check the activity you were doing at the time you felt the symptom. When the monitor battery is too low, the monitor alerts you with two beeps and a blue light blinks every five seconds. If the low battery alert sounds, charge the monitor immediately. Use only the chargers provided in your box. Do not use your personal cell phone chargers. Remove the monitor from the black hub on the bridge, then plug the monitor into the charging cord. Ensure the other end is plugged into the wall outlet. While charging, the blue light on the monitor will blink. Once it is successfully charged, the blue light will remain solidly lit. It takes only 90 minutes to fully charge. As soon as the monitor is fully charged, reinsert the monitor into its black hub that's still on your chest. Then restart the monitor. Now let's look at changing the ECG electrodes. We recommend changing the ECG electrodes every three days or when they no longer adhere to the skin. Electrodes are disposable. First, let's make sure you remove the monitor from the black hub, then plug the monitor into the provided charger. To protect signal quality, it's important not to expose the USB connectors directly to water. To limit the potential for skin irritation issues, you can remove the bridge while showering or with lukewarm soapy water. The bridge is easiest to remove by slowly peeling and rolling back the electrode adhesive furthest from the black hub. Then remove the top electrode. Use new electrodes each time to reattach the Body Guardian Mini with bridge to your chest. Do not rip or tear off electrodes too quickly. The more frequent you change the electrodes or improper removal of the electrodes may result in skin irritation. Now let's look at the various monitor alerts. The Body Guardian Mini is intentionally designed to be discreet. If you hear two beeps and two blue flashes every five seconds, this means the monitor battery is low. Charge the monitor immediately. The monitor typically takes up to 90 minutes to charge. If you hear three rising beeps and the monitor is blinking green, this means the monitor flipped into the monitoring mode after checking the contact is done. If there is no sound and the monitor is blinking green, this means it is monitoring successfully. If the blue LED is not illuminated when the monitor is connected to the charger and power source, double check that the power source is in fact active and not switched off. The blue LED light blinks while the device is actively charging and turns solid once fully charged. If you hear three monotone beeps with no light, this means you pressed and held the monitor button, or the monitor was in the charger and all data finished offloading. There is also an audible indicator if you cannot detect the blinking LED light on the monitor. Press and release the center button. One beep indicates the button is pushed during the monitoring, or it is powered on successfully. If you see a solid red or blinking red light, this means there is a monitor error. A red blinking light typically means that the signals being collected by the electrodes have been poor quality for a few minutes. It is normal to have some brief periods of poor quality signals, but the error should not remain for long. If the condition remains for more than a few minutes, you should make sure the electrodes are still in good contact with your skin. You can do this by using your finger to smooth over the surface. You should also remain still in an upright sitting or standing position for a few minutes to minimize any noise to see if the condition corrects itself. If the condition persists, try replacing the electrodes. Let's look at what to do when the study concludes. Remove Body Guardian Mini Monitor and Bridge as soon as your physician or a qualified healthcare professional ends your service. You will need to turn off the monitor by pressing and holding the center button for 12 seconds. You will know the monitor is off when none of the lights are lit. Now you can pack up and return your equipment.
Return the equipment after your service ends to avoid financial liability. If you're returning your equipment to the healthcare provider, follow the specific instructions they have provided. If you're returning your equipment to Boston Scientific Cardiac Diagnostic Services, use the following instructions. First, make sure the monitor is powered off by pressing and holding the center button for 12 seconds. Then, place the powered off monitor, charging cord, Holter diary, patient survey, and any unopened bridges and ECG electrodes into the provided box. Next, remove the adhesive strip from the flap on the shipping box and seal securely. The prepaid return label is already affixed to the bottom of the box. Drop the package off at the shipping carrier listed on the label. Clinical reports are made available to your doctor. Only your physician can discuss the recordings received and the output of your report. It's important to remember that your monitor does not provide emergency response service. If your symptoms worsen, you must call 911 or seek emergency medical services. If you have any questions related to the monitor, returning your monitor, or need billing assistance, contact the numbers listed below. Thank you for allowing us to serve you.